What's up, people? This is your Cabo Verde dude, and uh, welcome to my channel. Okay, so check this out. I get, I get a lot of questions uh, from people who have Amazon uh, Fire Sticks or Firebox, and they ask me, how do I load up zip files into my Kodi uh, system? Now, there's, there's a few ways that you can do it, and today I'm going to show you a real quick, easy way you can upload zip files into your Kodi uh, application. Uh, the first thing is you need to get a Dropbox account. Kodi has, in their programs, they had an add-on, a Dropbox add-on. Um, go online, go to dropbox.com, open up an account. It's, it's free. Uh, it's real easy to set up. It takes you two seconds to set up. Once you get set up with that, uh, you'll be ready to rock and roll and uh, install any zips that you may have that you download and get them into your Kodi system. Like I said, it's a couple easy steps. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to your program on it. Open up your Kodi and go to your program add-ons. And you're going to look for the Dropbox account. Look for the Dropbox add-on. Let's go in here to programs. And scroll down until you can, let's see, if we find that Dropbox. Go to get more. If you don't have it, go to get more. Scroll down until you find that Dropbox. Here we go, right here. See that Dropbox? Just go ahead and enter that, and you're gonna install it. Go ahead and install it. Let it do its thing. Like I said, this is a couple. This is a few steps uh, to get all this done. There you go. It's enabled. Now you want to launch that program. Once you launch that program, it says right here, add an account. You want to add an account, enter that. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you a pin. As soon as we get it open here. There we go. All right, now it's going to give you this pin. See this pin right here? You're going to take that pin, and you're going to just follow the simple instructions instructions that it has for it. You go to xbmc-dropbox.sourceforge.net. And once you open up that web page, you're gonna you're gonna type in that six five. Well, it's not gonna be that pin number, but what, the pin number that it gives you, that's what you're gonna put in there. So you're gonna go online. Like I said, once you do that, go online. Let me open up my web browser here. Put in that web address that uh. That was shown on Cody. So we'll go to Dropbox X B M C. Uh, it's in my histories. Um, I've already set it up. And there we go right here. Let's click on it at. And that pin, there you go, right there. I'll tell you to add that pin. Now I've got to um, Let's see here. I forgot what the pin was. Let me just double check that pin. 6566. 6566. 6566. That's what we need to put in there. 6566. Hit continue. It's going to take you to the second step. What you're going to do is you're going to need to get a code. Now, what you do is right here, just click on it at. You're going to get a little side window right here. Now this is where you're going to enter your Dropbox account that you just opened up, or if you already have one, just use your Dropbox account email and your password to open it up, and it's going to give you that code. I'll be up here in a few seconds here. Here we go. So Right, once you enter that, you're gonna it's gonna give you a code. Go ahead and allow Dropbox to connect, and there's the code right there. Just go ahead and take that and copy that code. And what you want to do is take that code and paste it right here, and then hit continue. Once you hit continue, 
you're done. You're done with that page. You're tied in with your Cody uh, Dropbox account and your online Dropbox account. Like I said, it's real, real easy. So we'll go ahead and close this out and go back to our Cody. Now hit OK. And once that is, it's going to say finish add an account. Go ahead and enter, hit enter, finish that account. And now it's retrieving, retrieved your information. Now you are opened up, you got your Dropbox opened up in your Cody application. Go ahead and enter that. And there you go. Now I already have some zip files. Um, so whatever zip files that you want, you just add them to your Dropbox account. And then you go to your Cody web page, go to your Cody uh, Dropbox account, and all your zip files will be right there. So here we got Showbox. So what you do is uh, get your contacts button, or if you're using a mouse, right click it, and you want to download from Dropbox. Remember where you are. Now, now your setup's going to be just a little bit different for me. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this in my home folder. And hit OK. It's going to download. Now that's a Showbox add-on. I'm just uh, showing you guys this just so you can have some type of reference. So that's it. Now I install that Showbox. Now I want to retrieve it now on my Cody. So we'll go home. Go to System. Go to Add-ons. Now we need to go to Install from... Let's back this up. Back up. One Install from Zip. There we go. Install from zip. Now that folder where you put it, you had to remember where I know where mine was. Like I said, this is just a reference for you guys. This is my home folder, and there's my Showbox zip. So all you gotta do is just hit OK, and now it's gonna be uh, added. There you go, right here. I just added Showbox to uh, to my Cody. Now if we close all that out, we'll go find the go to video add-ons. Here's my video TV shows. Let's back this up. Video add ons. And just scroll down and we'll find uh, Showbox. And there you go. Open that up. Like I said, this is real, real easy, guys. I mean, to me, this is the easiest way to get those zip files up into your, your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire Box. Uh, it, work, it works great for either one of them. but that's how easy it is. I'll open that up real quick. There's just a couple of steps. Like I said, what is three, three, three steps total for the Dropbox, setting up the Dropbox. I mean, maybe four steps all together for the whole thing. But that's how quick and easy it is. All right, guys. Um, I hope that answers your questions, and we'll see you on the rebound.